expect a long summer with far away fires and local air quality concerns. Our Derek James shares four ways that you can help reduce air pollution in your home and around your neighborhood. Air quality and air pollution have never been more top of mind. There's definitely a lot of people not only interested in air pollution, but tr wanting to dig deeper into the data and, and understand trends and, and numbers and then how things compare to previous years. Minnesotans are also looking to adapt and help in their own small ways. I think where the public has more of an uh, impact on pollution is with ground level ozone because that forms from uh, pollutants like oxides of nitrogen and volatile organic compounds. At ground level, ozone harms people and plants. It's mostly released by our cars. To have the biggest impact, drive less, idle less. The second potential source of air pollution to consider, your lawnmower. In terms of the amount of emissions that are generated for the amount of time that you're using that thing, it's, it's much more than, say, driving a car. An hour of gas-powered mower use can produce nearly the same amount of pollution as a 100-mile car trip from the Twin Cities to Albert Lee. On top of that, the EPA estimates that over 17 million gallons of gasoline is spilled as garden equipment is refueled each year. That's more than the 11 million gallons of oil spilled by the Exxon Valdez. Electric lawnmowers and other yard tools are an easy way to cut pollution. The third thing you can do now, avoid backyard fires. Backyard fires can contribute to local, very local air quality issues, you know, any time of year. Even more so when they're dealing with the smoke from faraway wildfires. Finally, use less energy. Efficient appliances, heating and cooling can make a difference. An energy audit is a great place to start. I don't think people should be intimidated by, um, you know, the, the, the small incremental improvements that each of us can make because if we're all doing it, it all adds up. Derek James, WCCO News. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says total emissions from the smaller but widespread sources of pollution that were just mentioned are significantly greater than all of the state's industrial sources combined.